In this question, we will use integration by parts to solve the problems. Here it is the electronic part, you have four options and you need to integrate it. So we can use the calculator and directly find the answers. Here we go, it's better to put in the radian mode. See, this doesn't matter because there's no cosine or sine, that's no trigonometric functions, but it's better to put in trigonometric mode, that's shift mode and four, that's the radian mode, sorry. And now what you do is, whatever is beside next to the integral symbol, type it out, x, shift e to the power, 2 and again x. Now calculate this at 2 and press equal to the answer is 109.19. So you need to type at x is equal to 2, write it down somewhere. This is equivalent to 109.196. So I need to solve all the options and see which gives me this answer. But I don't just put the options directly. You need to press shift dy by dx and now type it out. It's 1 by 2 Go next and shift e to the power 2x and then press next minus half that is 1 by 2 here and then we have e to the power x that is alpha x and plus c is not required because derivation of a constant is 0. Please remember this x value which you chose that is over here we need to put the same one x is 2. The answer is 50.9 doesn't match so let's move to the next one. Here it is 1 by x, so let's change this to x and then what do we have, e to the power minus 2x, oh sorry, not equals to, it's minus 2x here and it's 1 fourth, minus 1 fourth, e to the power minus 2x as well. Let's see whether this is the correct answer, no, it's absolutely wrong. So what about this one here, half and then we have x alpha x e to the power my, uh, plus 2x here and then we have minus 1 fourth e to the power plus 2x is it correct oh yes absolutely this is the correct answer i'm not going to do the next one because it'll be something else only one correct answer can be there in options how about this one here it's x sine 4x so all you need to do is alpha x sine 4x close the bracket Calculate this at 2. Now it's in radian mode, so whatever the answer I get, I can just write it out as it is. So it is 1.9787. Now we need to try all the four options. Let me try. Here it will be, see now it's 1 fourth, 1 fourth, 1 fourth. I'll stick to these three first because there's a high probability that this may not be the correct answer because it will be similar to 1 fourth. And uh, there's also, you, you can see the similarities and try to deduce some options. I'll try this, A, C, and D. If I won't get any answer, then I'll go to B. So now what I do is shift dy by dx. Let me type this out, minus 1 fourth, that is 1 by 4. And then we have sine x, sine x, sorry, it's 4x. Okay, let me write 4 first. And then alpha x, close the bracket, plus 1 by 16. And then we have again cosine 4x and close the bracket. And what is the x value we are taken to? So is it matching? No, it's not. Let me try this because it's very, very similar. Just the minus sign goes off and then it's same here. And here it is 1 by 16. It is sine 4x. Sine 4x. Is it correct? No, it is not as well. Let's try the last one minus x sine it is cosine here 4x and then we have 1 by 16 sine 4x let me check this oh yes this is correct so i'm not going to do the option b but you can try the option b it will not be the same one so option d is the correct answer here similarly you can solve all these problems it'll be the same method but over here we know the correct answer let's just use this correct answer and solve it up so i'll show you it's x cosine x, close the bracket, calculate it at 2. Now, I'm just going to write the answer because I might forget it, 0 0.83229, and try all the options, but here this is the correct answer, so I must get the same value. It is x sine, again sine x, close the bracket, plus cosine x. The x value is 2, and yes, that's the correct answer. 
Similarly, you can try all the options. Now we just did this just a minute ago. It's the same one. Now what about this one here? We did this one as well at the first option. We did this. So it's again simple. Let's try and do this. Alpha x natural logarithm x close the bracket calculated at 2 and here we go. The answer is 1.38629. Now we don't need to write so many values but I'm just writing you know to get the accurate answer. Now you need to look into the, all the options. Now shift dy by dx half of x squared that is alpha x and square it up and then natural logarithm of x now here it's very important to write multiplication even without multiplication it's fine but it's better to write the multiplication sign this entire term minus one fourth one by four x square that's it x value is two and is it matching yes it is of course it should match because that's the correct answer you can see there now the same thing here as well. What I'll do is I'll just change the answer first because I know this is the correct answer. The question must match the answer. It's one third x cubed natural logarithm x minus one by nine x cubed here. So what is the answer I'm getting? It's 2.77. Now let me show you the answer. x squared natural logarithm x calculated at two it'll be 2.77 yes that's correct similarly here we have natural logarithm x close the bracket and down as well it's x calculated at 2 you can directly press equal to because we have already chosen the calc as 2 value but it's better to double check okay it's 2 yes now it's 0 0.3465 let me show you the same value you will get it over here with this answer you don't need to put plus c just this part shift half one by two and then you have natural logarithm open the bracket because it's squared up so it's ln x close the bracket twice because one is for the x and one is for natural logarithm and then square it up the x value is two it should be 0 0.34 yes 0 0.3465 this is the old value let me just delete that this was the value we got it over here now what about this one i'm sure it's going to be the same thing e to the power minus 3x and calculate it at 2. It's 9.91. Let me write it. A into 10th power minus 3. This is very important because sometimes it will vary in 10th power minus 5, 10th power minus 4. So let's write it out and you can see this is a huge answer. So now what I'll do is shift dy by dx and type this entire thing. Minus 1 thirds of x squared e to the power minus 3x and then we have minus 2 by 9 and then x e to the power that is shift and ln again we have minus 3x and then let's type in the last term minus 2 by 27 and what do we have is e to the power minus 3x and then x is 2 we must get the same one. Yes, we are getting 9.91 in 10 power minus 3. And this last problem here, let us look into the answer first because if it's okay, it's a small one. So I'll type this out first. If it was a huge one, I would just edit it over there. But now we will type the question first raised to the power x again, power 3, calculated at 2. The answer is 11,923.83. Now let's type this one out, shift dy by dx. It's not integral, sorry, it's shift and this symbol. You should get d by dx, that's derivative. One thirds of e to the power x raised to the power three. The x value, see if you press equal, you'll get an error, syntax error, because there's no x value considered. x is two and it is the same value. If you change the x value to anything other than two, say for example, 2.2, that's an error. You're not getting the same answer. It varies a lot. So please put the accurate x value, whatever you assume with the question, same at the answer when you're deriving it. And it is matching. So this is the correct answer. That is the end of this question. I hope it is clear. If you have any doubts, please consider re-watching the video or posting your doubts in the comments. I hope you all will head on to the next video.